Last weekend was another tough day for Jose Mourinho and Manchester United after they suffered a shock defeat away at West Ham. Bad weekend for Jose. Chelsea and Liverpool, they drew, which allowed Manchester City the chance to go top of the league. Uh, Huddersfield had another defeat, this time to Spurs losing 2-0, which kept them at the bottom of the table. Let's take a look now back at some of last weekend's games through the eyes of the fans. Well, over the years with Wenger, we've been a bit of a soft touch. You go in a bit heavy, you go in mm. a bit strong and um, will crumble. Today, we face the same strength and the same competitive nature of Watford, but we didn't crumble. We managed to stick in there. Arsenal were all over us first half, but they had, uh, we had chances. We just didn't put them away. Mm. Second half, you come out and just destroyed us. Would you sack Mourinho? Where would you sack Mourinho now? Today? Do you know what? <laughs> it's awful. Who are we going to get to replace him now? I don't think there's anyone out there to come in at the moment. Is that a good enough reason just to keep him and, and sit through this? I'd go back into this interview with Fruta. He has come back through time. Mate, don't and I feel bad about don't it, but it's my life. I presume it's your life. Yeah, yeah. It's our life. And all we care about is people dying for the badge. It doesn't matter. Exactly. And it's here. Someone exactly. who's going hard and dying we, for the badge. We pay it's home and away. Home and away, and not, not, not one of them gives a fuck. Mm. All we care about is dying for the badge. It doesn't, exactly. doesn't matter about Mourinho, it doesn't matter about Pogba, just dying for the badge. It was slow, lethargic and shit like it's been for the last two and a half years or however long that fucking guy's been here, blood. I'm done, innit? I'm done with him. Uh, Nick, sum that up, mate. Mate, mate, Alex Ferguson, Eric Cantona, Brian Robson, are you fucking watching? We fucking gave your boys a hell of a beating. This is Liverpool's first big test, and they were shocking today. We stopped everything in the first half that they threw at us. Second half, we sat back far too early. But other than that, we were all over them. And myself personally thinks, Liverpool, we may not win the league, but we're going to have a good go with it. But you, you... <laughs> Some very passionate fans there, very passionate. And I just happen to be standing next to two Manchester United fans. I don't know how... Um, I don't know how it quite worked out like that, but I do. I'm forever blowing... Oh, look, sorry, um... What happened last week? Uh, we got beat, mate. No passion, no desire. I think Jose's lost the team, lost the dressing room. Yeah. Jose out, I think, mate. I think it's out. time. I think it's time that for him to go, yeah. You sound like an Arsenal fan from last year, too. <laughs> right. What about you? Are, you? are you saying the same? You think got, Jose should go? Jose yeah, should go? I've got to agree with exactly everything he said. Like, if we don't get rid of him before January, then obviously Barca are going to come in for Pogba and he'll just piss off and go. Actually, let me just get a poll on it. Who said he should stay? Who says Jose should go? Yeah. Let me get Sophie in there because Sophie, I want to ask you this, right? Who's that player that you think at another club that you'd love to have? So I would have Sergio Aguero. We lack goals in our team at the moment. Um, the majority of our goals come from our midfield, like Eden Hazard. So it would be great to have somebody up there that knows what they're doing. And Sergio Aguero, is, he's just a natural born goal scorer, isn't he? Can't so argue with that. yeah, exactly. Can't argue with Sergio. <laughs> The baller of the week, of course, is the person, player, manager, who's just been absolutely brilliant this week. <laughs> and I've got, I've got three excellent candidates for you. Now, candidate number one is Edin Hazard of Chelsea. Yet another fantastic performance by him. A lot of people saying that he's been the best player so far this season. What do you reckon? Yeah? No? Candidate number two, Daniel Sturridge of Liverpool. That was a fantastic goal. By <laughs> Great goal by him at the weekend. And um, he's really making a good comeback after having quite a bad season last year. And candidate number three, West Ham United. What a victory by West Ham turning over Manchester United. Remember, a couple of weeks ago, they were bottom of the league. Absolutely outstanding. So, what do you guys reckon? Who should get it? The winner is West Ham United. Definitely deserved, definitely deserved. What about the waste man of the week? The person player who's been a waste of space. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me get the candidates first. 
Candidate number one. Jose Maria. Jose Maria. Jose Maria versus United. It's been a bad week for Jose, I'll tell you. It's been a really rough week. Nothing's been going right for him. Candidate number two, Huddersfield. They have been poor. They haven't even scored a goal at home this season. They've been really, really poor. They do look like they might go down. They've been really, really bad. And candidate number three, Mike Ashley, the owner of Newcastle. Yeah, it's, it, you know, he's not been great for Newcastle. Last week, when the fans were having a go at him, he was just standing there laughing. I mean, he's just been really, really poor as well. So, and this is a very stupid question. Who gets this one? Good to be here with Jamie O'Hara. Nice to meet you, mate. Hey, do you know this is an Arsenal pub? You're on enemy territory, you know? I know, I know. I've, uh, I was a bit worried about walking in here, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you started at Arsenal, though? Yeah, I was an Arsenal uh, graduate. Yeah, I was there since I was 11. Um, fantastic academy, I have to say. It was brilliant. Taught me so much. Um, I, I signed for Tottenham when I was 17. They bought me. Um, I had the opportunity to stay at Arsenal full time. Um, I went to Arsenal school and everything, but it just at the time they had such a good team. Like they had Vieira, Petit, Fabregas. I just didn't see myself getting in that side. Um, so you thought go to a rubbish team. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one: Who's going to win the league this season? So I think it'll be Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Tottenham. Tottenham. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Arsenal. I mean, you know, Arsenal needs to get used to back. playing in Europa League. You know, because no, that's where it's Here he goes, here he goes. You know, just, you can play the Spartan. Who's the best goes, player in the Premier League? Um, I think on form, you've got to go with Eden Hazard. You know, the way he's playing, he just looks great. Um, he's, he's playing with freedom. I feel like last year he didn't have that same confidence and I feel like the new manager's come in and just gave him a licence to just go and enjoy himself. Mm. And he looks like, you know, he looks like he's the star player that everyone expects him to be. So I think at the moment, mm. He's, he's the one He's the one that everyone's got to catch. Best player you ever played against? Gerard was probably the only one where I was like, I can't get near this guy. Mm. You know, I literally couldn't get near him. I was thinking, I'm going to smash him. You know, first five, <laughs> first five minutes thinking, I've got to set the tone, I'm going to go and smash him. He, I think he nutmegged me, played a one-two and sprayed one about 70 yards. I was like, mm. wow, I'm miles off it. <laughs> I'm miles off it. It's always been a pleasure to have you. Top man, mate. Brilliant. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Thank you very much. Keep trying to catch up with Tottenham, yeah? <laughs> <laughs>《It's time for my favourite part of the show. It's the fan battle! Yeah! Yeah. This is a chance for an opposition fan to diss the other team, to big up their team, and I absolutely love it. And we've got the Merseyside Derby in the studio Woo! today. <laughs> Representing Everton, we've got Sarah! <laughs> Representing Liverpool, give it up for Leanne. Yeah. Now, you guys know the rules, right? We did a coin toss. Leanne, you won it. You said you wanted Sarah to go first. Remember, keep it clean. No underhand tactics. You ladies ready? Indeed. We're going to get off with you. Ready on my whistle? Being an Evertonian, there's not much Liverpool fans can throw at us. You haven't won a trophy since 1995. You've won it five times. We know all that, but the thing is, right, everybody knows that Everton is the proper football team in Liverpool. After the Champions League final, it was murder building up the Champions League final. There was reds everywhere, but after Bale worked his magic, Real Madrid did their thing and won. They all went, but it was a nightmare because we couldn't get a train or a plane for ages because they were, they were just flooded with reds everywhere. But, you know, we know, we know that you're better than us at the moment, but to be fair, I didn't realise you'd already won the league seven games in. Every red, I know, <laughs> thinks the name's already carved on the trophy. And yes, I know we haven't been up to standards in the recent years, but we're getting there. And how does it feel as well, that bird that's on your chest? We own that building. The Royal Liger building is ours. Everton are homed in that building. The bird is blue. And soon we're going to have the, the stadium on the banks of the Royal Blue Mersey. Groundbreaking stadium. The tables are turning, I'll tell you, it's going to take time. But it's <laughs> Oh. 
These ladies are brutal today. Right, Leanne, your turn to answer. Hold it up. Chance now for Liverpool, Leanne. You ready? First off, we're sitting pretty top of the league. You're down 11. Are you just constantly speaking about us because you're forever in our shadow, as you've just described. Czech Tosin runs slower than my nan. Jordan Shakiri, his calf's bigger than your chance of finishing in the top six. All you fans talk about is Marco Silva's plan of rebuilding, which is going as well as Spurs' stadium. So, really, we've got Salah, we've got Milner, who should be the face of an ageing commercial. He doesn't age. Salah, Firmino, we've got everyone. You're talking about the Champions League, you'll never get there. This year is our year. Meanwhile, enjoy the Carabao Cup, which Danny Inks knocks you out of. <laughs> Judge that. How am I supposed to judge that? That's oh gosh, that's tough. Because all you, you also admitted, like you admitted that we're better than this. Nah, right now. Stop! <laughs> listen, listen, I never got this in. Liverpool only exists because of Everton Football Club. They used to play in blue. Anfield was our stadium. They were called Everton Athletic and they played in blue and white. All right, they... calm down. No, 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 who says Everton? Oh! Who says Liverpool? Oh! It's a tough one today because I love their style. I love their layback style. But I've got to give it to Everton!